for me, I have uh, become aware of many things during the process. Um, both of, of uh, how other people uh, perceive or can perceive their own gender, also how I perceive my own gender or not. Um, and yeah, it has opened for me uh, the subject and made me more aware of, of uh, how I meet the world and what I see uh, in terms of gender, like seeing it through the, the subject in a way. I really enjoy this performance because it's kind of like a trip. So there is something like very fantastic that we create like a fantastic universe, but at the same time, in many moments, I feel talking in first person. So, yeah, I create with them uh, a special cosmos, but at the same time, I feel really me. And this, I really like it because it's true. And, um, yeah, it, for me, it's, uh, this piece is just like a confirmation of who I am. And I think, you know, like, I feel like a lot of freedom. I feel really present and explosive. So this gives me like uh, a lot of power, vital power, to be able to articulate and say very loud uh, what I am. Mm. I think for me the first time we tried it, which, which was a little bit earlier in the process because it was when we made the trailer, it made maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe a bigger difference than it does now. Um, uh, partially maybe because of uh, of the we have talked a lot a lot about the idea of the difference between a ma man and a woman is maybe much more fluent than like this and therefore why is the beard so important uh, and why are the clothes so important so in this sense I feel stronger now that I could be just like I am uh, without changing anything and I could be a man <laughs> it makes a difference always to change your appearance quite drastically. I think this will make a difference even if it's uh, getting a huge tattoo or if it's having a big beard. Um, but for sure it's loaded with something different because of the way we've been taught that I am a girl, I have this kind of looks or I have... Mm. Um, but I think it made a bigger difference the first time also because it's the first time than, than now. But mm -hmm. I feel more confident that I can uh, make people believe that I am a man when I have the beard. Um, and I think for me also it's about like if I was able to grow a beard um, or a moustache, I would have a moustache. And I can't, <laughs> but then I could, I could uh, in this show I could have a moustache mm. for these couple of months. Yeah. I think we're working a lot with stereotypes. I, I think we all know them. We don't need to study them. We, mm. we, we know it just by being out and seeing other people. Uh, and of course, we are, we are playing with the volume of that uh, physicality. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's also, it was especially really interesting, the, the, the physicality of when I was a man was actually very much me. 
but a little from another perspective. So yes, there's a change a little bit in the way that I am normally in my body, but it's not that drastic. Of course, when we uh, jump over into the stereotypes, there's a big difference. Mm -hmm. So it's, I like this jumping in between. Because, mm -hmm. yeah. For me, the only difference is the way that people perceive me. Because, uh, you know, if uh, I'm walking on the street uh, like this, uh, people are going to think that I'm really bad. You know, but if I present myself like a man, I just walk normal. So it's not really how I move or uh, how I wear clothes. It's more about how people perceive uh, one or the other. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, the physicality, I mean, yeah, you can say it's strong, it's powerful, it's, but I think every person has different degrees of everything. It's, uh, it's, I think it's about what you, what, what you explode in a certain moment. But uh, I think every person in this world can be soft and can be strong and can be vulnerable and can be, you know? I think, uh, I think the difference is uh, the, um, the expectations one will ha would have um, mm -hmm. of a man or woman. There's different expectations about how they should move and look, yeah. talk, etc. For example, the moment that uh, we go, we are like caring people, and that we, that this can be, you can look this from many different point of views, you know, you can say like it's a male um, characters, or you can say that it's a parody, or, but for me, it's like to play superheroes, you know, like, it's, it's really like, I feel like, uh, Fantasy is not even reality or a copy of the reality. It's just like you create a cartoons movie, and and for me this is really fun and and uh, yeah, it's something that doesn't exist, you know, because Batman, Superman, Spider Man, Iron Man, uh, all of these superheroes, Shrek, they doesn't exist. But uh, you know, like uh, yeah, we create it, and then also I think. When we dance alone, and we can see like more like like a backstage of the person, you know, of every individual. So I think it's very clear when we move in society, and we follow certain patterns to survive, kind of. But when we are in the intimacy, I think we just like relax and you know like we became much more I don't know, like transparent or uh, something. This is a man, this is a woman, this is straight, this is gay, this is uh, rich, this is poor, this is fat, this is skinny, this, you know, like, we, we like to put, you know, uh, everything in order to have sense of control. So when you don't know, when you hesitate about something, this became curiosity, this can, can, can be like uh, an aggression, or like, it's how you, how, you, um, gestion, how you manage when you are curious and you don't know how to put things in order. You approach, you go far away, you refuse, what is your relation? And I think this is the, the point, you know, what is your relation with all the hesitations that people have, have when see this uh, from, you know, this trip, these four characters doing everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean?